Hey guys, this is Rocking3, bringing another live commentary, Forza 6, and we are continuing on the Porsche series. We are on the 2015 Porsche Cayman GTS. Um, I just raced it in the rain, and it was pretty solid in the rain. We're now going on to Watkins Glen, and I have a feeling even in the dry, this car is going to do really well. Um, the grip seemed really good, the braking seemed really good, uh, the turn-in was pretty decent. So for our stock car, um, this one's pretty decent already um not sure what level it starts in probably a maybe s i'm not sure where it starts um but it is quite a pleasant car to drive and the interior is really sweet too um i'll make sure i get into the interior cam during this race of course it's red <laughs> uh let's see if i can see what the starting grid here uh oh it's only a b 583 huh i thought it was a better car than that so pretty good stock. Probably be a really, really good A-class car, I would guess. Take a little weight out of it. Has a lot of power, good acceleration, and it seems to have a lot of grip. And for uh, you know the brakes on a lot of these cars, I've been just burning them up. This one seems to do okay for me. So it must have a pretty good balance. Whoa, oh, I tried to get outside. Don't know if we'll be able to take that one flat out next time. I'm going to try. And see you, pack. Just me and this Mercedes. And he broke a lot more than I did. This car has endless grip. It's really good. A little bit of slide out there, but not bad. That Mercedes has got some pretty good speed, though. I knew he was going to break a little early, so I started braking, but he still broke earlier than that. Wow, he is really slow around the turns. Second lap, we'll go in. We'll go in car, camera. And then the third lap, we'll go back out. A little bit of that oversteer, but that that Porsche has been giving me, but it's not bad. It's controllable. It stops. I mean, it starts to, and then it finally s stops doing it. All right, look at that. That is beautiful. That is really beautiful interior. Oh, we went a whole lot of wide there. I don't think we can go full. No, I can't go quite full out. A little bit of understeer. It's definitely a lot better than the other ones were, but there is still a little bit of understeer to this car. That is just an awesome interior. I've been looking at cars kind of in this price range, maybe a little bit cheaper. I'm, I'm, I might have to go take a drive. Just beautiful. Inside and out, really. I like the 911s a lot better than the Caymans, but the Caymans really aren't that far off anymore. I know with the 2016, I think they actually gave it a 911 engine with just a little bit less horsepower, but it's it's never been that close. It's getting a lot closer than it ever has been. Wow, you can get in the power so early in this car. That RPM range is 82.50 red line. I was looking at the gauges so much I didn't look at the track. 
think we got a pretty good lead, so we're okay. Sounds so good too in the in interior here. Just a really throaty sound. Giddy up. Alright, let's do one more and see if we can put a good lap time down. Outside of the car. Sounds better inside, but I can't drive that fast in that view. Let's see if we can do this flat out. I'm going to dive in. Try to get this inside. There we go. Oh, yeah. Flat out. May not be able to do both sides. Nope. I had to let off a little bit there. Twice. Some broken glass. Oh, tail light's out. Tail light is out. I bet you that costs a couple thousand. Oh, a little wide. A little oversteer. Woo! A little bit. Or a lot. I'm gonna get into the, to the throttle early there. There we go. The car doesn't quite like those turns, but it's not bad. It's It's controllable. You're not gonna lose it. does like this one though. This one I can actually get some grip pretty early. Yeah, except I bumped that inside. Yeah, it wasn't too good. Man, you put some race brakes and get your brush right on this. A little more downforce on the on the back. And wow, you could throw some lap times down on this car. Probably even in B class, you probably wouldn't have to do a great deal of stuff to it. It probably just works. Ooh, topped it out a little too early there. Nice car, really good car, guys. Probably the one of the easier ones I've had that I've had throughout this this series too. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I think we just have a couple more cars to go, so hang on, we're almost there.